James Woods takes down Parasite Democrat Rep. Wilson. If I haven't told you by now, if you are not following former actor and conservative James Woods on Twitter, at Real James Woods, you are missing out. This past week was just another perfect example of James Woods at his finest. If you didn't know who Democrat Rep. Frederica Wilson was beforehand, you certainly do by now. First, cue the music. Send in the Clowns by Judy Collins. She's the congresswoman who listened in on a call between President Donald Trump and the family of a slain army soldier and lambasted the commander-in-chief for saying that the fallen hero know what he was getting into. Wilson was sitting in on the call with Maisha Johnson, the widow of Sergeant Law David Johnson, one of four Americans killed during an October 4 ambush in Niger. Needless to say, her accusation had White House officials livid. I was stunned when I came to work yesterday morning, and brokenhearted at what I saw a member of Congress doing, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly said Thursday, in response to Rep. Wilson's claims, according to CBS News. A member of Congress who listened in on a phone call from the President of the United States to a young wife, and in his way tried to express that opinion, that he's a brave man, a fallen hero, he knew what he was getting himself into because he enlisted. However, conservative actor James Woods wasn't even willing to be that nice with Rep. Wilson. In a tweet storm, the Hollywood icon lambasted her as a parasite. The clown in the red cowboy hat, refers to Rep. Wilson, who, as you'll soon see, favors questionable haberdashery choices. However, the point is a salient one. After all, this seems to be the one thing really competing with the Clinton-Obama-Russia narrative these days, and darned if the media isn't milking in like a desperate Indiana farmer after five cups of coffee. But just as the National Social Media Weather Service was about to cancel their severe tweet storm warning, Woods continued. This time, he noted that Rep. Wilson doesn't exactly have the most, um, distinguished record on veterans' affairs. Now, I'm not entirely sure about Wood's conclusion. After all, if the Democrats wanted a real distraction, they could certainly have done better than a rodeo clown with the name recognition of the Chargers' backup quarterback. That said, Democrat Rep. Wilson has parasitically attached herself to the body of a dead soldier in order to make sure you know her name, and she shows no signs of detaching from her host. Conservative James Woods is right. What a parasite rodeo clown. As the song Send in the Clowns by Judy Collins goes. One who keeps tearing around, one who can't move. Where are the clowns? There ought to be clowns, clowns.